Hey hey, today I wanted to take a look at uh, active uh, blocking. Um, apparently some people uh, have uh, a little bit hard time understanding how it works, so I'm going to try to give a good an explanation as I can. Uh, first of all, let's uh, see what the effects are of uh, blocking. First of all, you are taking half healing, you get less magic damage, this is uh, just, uh, I mean, active uh, blocking is mostly for tanks, so um, this uh, magic damage modifier isn't doing much for anyone. Uh, it does help the DT a little bit maybe, since uh, all the dots that are magic damage will just do half the damage and therefore decreasing their aggro. But uh, it's uh, not that uh, big of a deal. And minus 50 damage multiplier, which uh, I mean, if you are in active blocking, you can't do any combos or abilities or stuff like that, so it has little effect since uh, I don't think any of the soldiers have any AoE damage. Then it uh, removes stamina, which is uh, after the patch uh, for the um, not the stamina, but the addition of the energy. It's not that big of a deal anymore, so it can actually be more viable now to use some active blocking during some fights. And the main reason you're using active blocking is of course the 33 shielding bonus. So, uh, first of all, Let's look at the situation where uh, you should not use active shielding, and that is where you are getting magic damage. Let me show you here. Here we have uh, damage coming in, and uh, as you can see, consistent uh, 1669 damage. Just going to uh, rest up a little bit, then we will go back in and activate active dodge. And as you can see, the stamina is drained, but I'm taking just the same amount of damage. So uh, pretty much it's uh, any kind of damage that uh, doesn't have a direction, that is all magic damage, no magic damage, have uh, uh, a shield direction on it. Shield direction is, uh, as I talked about in a previous uh, video, those yellow things you can see around my chair now. So if uh, you're um, fighting something with magic damage, it's usually never a good idea to uh, use uh, the active uh, blocking. But then there are the physical fights and uh, this is where the active blocking comes into play. So I have moved a little bit away from the city now and uh, here we have a crater spawn which is purely physical damage. Let me just get him over here. So, you can see now he will be... Well, there is a crit, so just ignore that. He doesn't have that much crit usually, but... Uh, he should be hitting me for about 375 and 325 
that's uh, about the two numbers we are looking at. So, uh, there we are this done, just ignoring that. You can see that is quite consistent damage. Now, let me turn on active blocking. As you can see, 301, 260, 260, 301. That is a little bit better. The crit seems to be about the same, but oh, I'm out of stamina, that's why. So, as you can see, you do gain an effect. Um, this guy will not be hitting the right shield, I think. So if I move that, no, up like that. Then we can see 253. That's about the same as you get was a lot of critting right now. So there it is. You get about the uh, same uh, damage with active blocking as you get with adding a second shield on the side you are defending. Okay, so just wanted to heal up again and so you didn't have to watch the combat log, all the healing in between the damage. I just paused the recording right there. So now I moved all my shields up, which means that um, you can see I take 128 when he hits me up and uh, actually I'm taking a little bit more 391 that's about 10 more damage on the shields on the left side there crits are still hurting uh, more but I do have all shields up so I guess those crits are on the more, yeah, on the now on shield side. Let me go into active dodging. You see there, a crit for 159, that's not much at all. And a normal hit on top, 53 damage. So that's, when I have all shields up, that's half of the damage by using active dodging. Of course, there aren't many hard fights where you can stack all shields in one direction, but just to show how the effect uh, do increase even when you have all shields on one side. So that's it about the active blocking. Um, it's not uh, that very useful in most fights, but uh, it certainly can make a difference if used at the correct time. So, that's it. Thank you for watching.